Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to my humble home and my property here in Livingston, Montana. Okay, today's date is September 14th of 2021. And precisely what I'm doing this morning is I'm doing a sit-down review on an archery bow that I bought from a place called Jet Bow. Jet Bow, all together. J-E-T-B-O-W. Jet Bow is in California. It's run by a fellow by the name of John but I'm not going to dox him. You can see these bows on Etsy. www.etsy.com That's that place where you can make homemade stuff, handmade stuff, and sell it. Etsy. E-T-S-Y. I'm sure most of you folks know what I'm talking about. Okay, the bow, I've already done, this is the second bow I bought from John. I like his first bow so well that over Labor Day, this last Labor Day, he, Etsy or John or somebody was having a sale and they had 10% off on his bows. Well, this one particular other bow that I was looking at, and it's not an other bow, it's the same model. It's a Stratus, okay? John, he has several models of bows, the Nimbus, the Stratus, the Cyclone, the, the Cirrus. Now, most of the stuff is named after clouds and weather and whatnot like that. But anyway, let me show you this bow here. The other one that I reviewed, I had a lot of mispronounced words. I had a lot of screwed up data. I stumbled all over myself. You want to know why? Because I was in a hurry. You should never get in a hurry making these dumb YouTube videos. <laughs> really, seriously, you know. I hate it when I screw everything up. Okay. Right. This is, if anybody that pays attention to my channel, by the way, I thank you if you do. But, I like I say, a week or so, a couple weeks ago, I did a review on a bow. Same model as this, but this guy's got different wood in it than the other review that I did, okay? Now, right off the get-go, I want to show you, okay, I mean, don't get ahead of yourself here, Jeff. Right off the get-go, I got to say this. This is a reflex, deflex longbow. The AMO is 62 inches from here to this other end here. 62 inches. And at last on the last movie file, I said it took a 60-inch string. That's not correct. It's a, It takes a 59-inch string. Three inches less than the AMO, the, the, the length of the, the, the length of the bow. So... The real string length, the act, what they call the actual string length is 59 inches. The bow is 62 AMO. Okay. Reflex, deflex, long bow, like I say. And, of course, I'm banging it all over the thing. I got kind of a small little studio here. I wanted to go outside this morning, but the wind's blowing. And if it's one thing that I hate, I, I, I'm just saying this for myself. I don't like video files where you can't hear what the creator is saying. I run into that a lot on YouTube, but I have to, you know, I'm cranking my TV set, I'm cranking my computer up trying to hear them, and, uh, you know, especially when you got anomalies like wind and wind shear and all that. That stuff drives me nuts. So, every chance I get, if, I, if I'm in a windy condition, I usually don't record or either come inside. Okay, now that I got that out of my hair, this riser right here where the handle is and the rest, the rest is this guy right here. This is me. I want you to take a real good look at that wood. That's a real pretty wood. I generally don't judge these type of bows on how pretty they are. I want to know how well they perform. But nonetheless, John outdid himself with this bow. This is a really nice looking bow. This is Honduran Rosewood, okay? Honduran Rosewood is highly sought after. You know, it, 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 rosewood, it's my understanding, is kind of hard to work with, it, you know, et cetera, et cetera. But it, it has got the qualities for a riser. It's got the strength for a riser because you can't use just any type of wood with these bows. You, you, like up here in Montana, the wood that I'm most familiar with is softwood, like pine, uh, fir, um, like that, so, you know, evergreens, but that kind of wood right there is not conducive to bow making, so it, it, it would, if you're thinking about getting into these kind of bows, it would pay you a lot of, it would do you a lot of good to pay attention to these woods that go in these bows, but
But like I say, I'm hoping you can see that from here to here. You know, right in this area right here is this Honduran rosewood, okay? And, and the ro Honduran rosewood is found in the British Honduras, uh, Guatemala, Belize, I think I pronounced that country right, Central America, there's only three or four countries in Central America where you can get this wood, okay? Now, the limbs, th this right here is the back of the bow, and this right here is the belly of the bow. Okay, the accent wood that's that laminated on the very outside, well, the very outside is actually fiberglass, but next to that is, uh, is uh, let me see if I can get this right, Shadua. Sedua, excuse me, there, I got it right, Sedua, the, the, <laughs> I know, I looked all this stuff up, this wood right here, this wood right here, right here, and right here, Sedua, this is an African hardwood, and Sedua's got the right properties, it bends well enough, it compresses well enough to be used in bow making, I don't know exactly what else I use Sedua for, but I read up quite a bit on it, it's an excellent you know, Boyer's wood, and all that, because, you know, all woods are not the same. It's just that simple. And personally, I like these laminated bows, you know, these handmade laminated bows, because at least you know what you're getting, especially if the Boyer tells you. Well, on on John's site there on Etsy, he explicitly states what he's putting in his bows. And by the way, while I'm thinking about it, He's got a couple more new, two new bows on his site. So you guys that are looking for bows like this might want to check him out. But anyway, if you look at this real close right here, if I can do this, my can right there, that black stripe that you see going right down that laminate there, that is what they call uniweft, U-N-I hyphen weft, W-E-F-T. W-E-F-T, and that's a fiberglass, that black stripe right there, okay? Let me see if I can get this. Okay, right on top of it and right below it is a bamboo core. The, the core of this limb is bamboo, and then we've got sedua there and sedua on the other side, and then it's 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 backed, if you will, on top and on the bottom here, however you want to look at this, with fiberglass core. Uh, bear paw fiberglass. So there you are. That's what's into this bow right here. And this, these tips, these knock tips right here, this is Honduran rosewood too. It's some nice stuff. This is a nice bow. Just take a look at those limbs. See, you're not going to get this kind of quality, ladies and gentlemen, on these offshore imported bows. You just aren't. But I'm going to do another video Right after I get done with this, I'm gonna now, rather than wasting time on this video here, I'm gonna do another video kind of explaining where I'm at with archery. So bear with me, you know. But yeah, this bow here is all ready to go. It's got a brace height. That's a brace height means the distance between here and and the the the, the handle indentation, if you will. Uh, it, it, it seven and a half inches. Actually, this morning when I started out, it was 8 inches, but the, I just got this bow yesterday. So, like I say, I've got another Stratus bow, but I did a review on it. I kind of screwed things up like Sedua wood, you know, the, you know, like that. So, and also I forgot to say on my other video that these bows here will take a fast flight string. This is D97. Matter of fact, I bought this particular string right here from a guy on on uh, Etsy there, and, you know, I bought two black and white ones and two red and black ones. Yeah, fast flight Flemish twist strings, okay? Let me make sure you get a good look at that. But this, if I haven't reiterated this, I'm going to do it now. The, this bow is handmade. It is homemade, handmade, made by a boyer. It's a USA product, and that's what I like about it because... When I popped back into the archery world at the beginning of this summer and I took a big look around, I was disappointed. Let, let me put it to you that way, disappointed. But this bow right here has got a real nice draw. It's it's 36 pounds at 28 inches, but I draw 30. The draw weight on this 
is 26 to 30, and that's what you're allowed to pull this bow, you know, like this, 20, 26 to 30 inches, I do believe, if I remember right. Last time I did a bow review, I was had my iPhone, I was trying to read stuff off there. Well, I'm a little bit more well-reversed, well-versed now, I would have to say, than the last time. Okay. Oh, yeah, I forgot to say this, too. Right here on this riser, I almost forgot this, that white line that you see running through there. Let me see if I can get this right. There's a white and red stripe, if you can see it. That is balonic resin. That's It's a resin very similar to, uh, um, well, it's a, let's see, what was I going to say? Polymer. It's kind of like a polymer resin, okay? And so that's what this bowl, this bowl doesn't have quite as many woods in it as the last bowl I bought, but I like it a little bit better. Like I say, the draw poundage is 36 pounds at 28 inches of draw right on the nose. I measured it. It's a nice bowl. And one of these days I'm going to get out and I'm going to shoot both of them bows, both of my jet bows and record them, but that's not what I got going on for today. Okay. I hope, I like this bow a lot, and one thing that John did tell me in a message from Etsy was he just kind of, just kind of made a tear, you know, swell up in my eye, because I know where John's coming from. He said the sad, the sad fact of the matter is he puts, you know, a couple, two or three weeks worth of work into these bows before he releases them, and he gets kind of attached to them, and then he's got to, then all of a sudden he's got to turn around and sell them. You know, and I, I, can, I can understand that. I really can. If I was in John's shoes and I was making bows, I'd probably just end up giving them to my family and calling it quits because I am not schooled enough with these hardwoods to... to I'm just not... I, well, I've got a nice garage. I've got a shop and everything, but it's unheated for one thing. And at my age, I just don't want to get into all the stuff that it takes because it, it takes quite a bit of... You gotta have some presses and some ovens and I don't know. You know, you gotta have equipment for shaving down hardwood and grinders and sanders and all kinds of stuff. And so probably stuff that I don't even have. So there you go. I'll just leave the bow making to those that know how to do it because I made a couple of bows when I was a kid and guess what they did? When I was a kid, I said, blow up in my face. <laughs> Using this good old Montana softwood up here, which ain't no good. Okay. But these bows, like I say, they're smooth, reflex, deflex, you know. Oh, yeah, by the way, the end of this right there, before I get going, style, right there, where that black little band is, that's exactly 30 inches. Out here to the end, this is 32, that's 31, and this band right there is, is, is yeah, let's see, there's 28 inches of draw in there, 29 30 and 32. Hope I got that right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to, the way I am at 70 years old, I don't want to be pulling much more than about 40 pounds. Because like I've said in previous videos, if you get, if, if, if you overpound yourself, you're, you, that's the worst thing you can do because you're going to be shaking all over the place. You're not going to get a steady, you know, anchor point. You're not going to get steady anything. You're, you know, you're going to be shaking. You're going to miss a lot. You're going to get frustrated. You're going to kick the ball under the bed. So my very best advice is to whatever kind of a bow you're using, just make sure you stay with the bow weight that you can handle. You know what I'm saying? Sure you do. Okay. I'm kind of, I'm kind of squished in this little small studio of mine, so you're going to have to forgive me. But I am going to go out. I have been shooting these bows. It's not like I don't know what I'm talking about. But I haven't been recording myself because I, I, I need the practice, okay? <laughs> That's all there is to it. Okay. This is a jet bow, ladies and gentlemen. Reflex, deflex, hybrid, longbow, coming out of California. It's a jet bow. Oh, and the weight on this bow, too, is only about a little over a pound. And what else did I want to say? 
I don't know. I did, the last video I did wasn't very good, but hopefully I went a little faster this time. I know how people are. They get bored easy and all that other stuff. Okay. I am going to do another video right after this one and kind of explain my position with archery. Okay. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you on down the trail. Take care of yourselves and adios, my friends.